BIOS is quite a forgettable bit of system software. It stands for basic input output system. We sometimes have a forward slash between input and output. This is a program which is held in ROM, which is also quite forgettable. ROM is our non-volatile primary storage. And BIOS itself is the first program which runs when the computer turns on. So it's really important. And it's that sort of black screen you see with loads of weird stuff flashing up when you first turn a computer on. So what does BIOS do? Well, first job is to begin with what's called POST. POST stands for Power On Self Test. And this will check the hardware components are working. And if they're not working, the user gets alerted. And one of the ways they can get alerted is through beeps. That's helpful if there is an issue with the GPU, for example, and they can't see anything on screen. Another thing BIOS lets you do is if you often press F12 or something like that, it lets you go into a menu where you are able to configure your hardware, in particular your storage and the CPU. For example, you can overclock your CPU to artificially increase the clock speed. And last but not least, the BIOS has to get the OS into the correct location. So it will copy part of the OS, the operating system, from secondary storage into RAM. After it's in RAM, the OS will take over and continue starting up the computer. The OS has to be in RAM for it to work. However, RAM gets wiped when power is turned off. That's why BIOS has this really key role to load the OS from the non-volatile secondary storage into RAM so that we can use the OS when the computer is fully started up.